Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I am so excited because I'm actually going to be partnering up with the beautiful Heather Austin Makeup to talk about our top 10 favorite Valentine's Day and anti-Valentine's Valentine's Day palettes. So you guys want to see what I think is the best Valentine's Day palette, what her best Valentine's Day palettes are. Well, then definitely keep watching. Okay guys, so you have seen me talk about Heather Austin on my channel quite a bit and I am so excited to be collabing with her in today's video. She is so freaking sweet. She starts the videos with, hey y'all, like, oh my gosh, she's so sweet. And we've um, shared D we've shared DMs over the last couple of months. She's been so supportive of me and just has been a listening ear. She created a beautiful collaboration with Adept Cosmetics and she's the reason why I even fell in love with that brand to begin with. And she's just as an overall beautiful, wonderful content creator. She hustles. like. Like, there is no tomorrow. I mean, this girl puts out so much content. It's truly like makes me go, damn, I need to step up my game. And she's one of those people that if you ever want to see like an in-depth makeup review on a lot of indie brands, she's your go-to person because she does in-depth palette reviews on so many different indie brands. And not only does she do one look, she gives you multiple looks in those reviews. You guys should really go check her out. I'll make sure I link her down below. But she had reached out and asked if we want to do, but she reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a collaboration where we ran our top 10 favorite Valentine's Day palettes. And I said, absolutely, because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It's my least favorite holiday. You guys know how I feel about Valentine's Day, but I thought it'd be so fun. We're going to do our top five favorite Valentine's palettes, followed by our top five favorite anti-Valentine's Day palettes. I have no idea what she's picking. She has no idea what I'm picking. So I am so excited. So we're going to go ahead and dive right on in. Now, I do my top five Valentine's Day inspired palettes and my top day and my top five anti Valentine. Oh my God, tongue twister. And my top five anti Valentine's Day palettes. Now, I do have two honorable mentions who are not making it into the top five, but I still feel like deserve some love. So, we're going to start off this video with our top five Valentine's Day inspired palettes. So, starting off as an honorable mention, but that did not make it into my top five, we do have Color Pops, not a box of chocolate. Now, the only reason why it's in this cat, the only reason why it's being honorable mention is because when I reviewed this back in October, I said this was a perfect Valentine's Day palette because it's not a box of chocolate and this is a chocolate inspired palette and when you think of Valentine's Day you think of chocolates flowers teddy bears balloons and it's kind of like gag worthy where you're like Ugh. at least for me that's what I think of so when I first reviewed this palette I was like oh my god this is 100% a beautiful Valentine's Day palette it's a very gorgeous everyday neutral eyeshadow palette I fell in love with this palette I think it's absolutely beautiful and I just wanted to mention it today as an honorable mention because even though it's not Valentine's Day theme it doesn't give you like those pinks reds and whatnot it still kind of reminds me of Valentine's Day because it specifically is a not a box of chocolate and you are and it's not a box of chocolate chocolate sold so much during Valentine's Day it's like the number one gift that people give so I just I had to mention as an honorable mention. So moving into our top five Valentine's Day inspired palettes we have coming in number five the Natasha Denona love palette. Need I say more? Need I say more? It literally says love palette and what screams Valentine's and what screams Valentine's Day more than the theme of love. So when you open this up you have a very beautiful eyeshadow palette right here. Now this doesn't necessarily look too much like Valentine's Day to me. Like I look at it and like, yes, I could see Valentine's, but at the same time, when I think of Valentine's, I think of like literally bright pinks and just pinks thrown on your face, reds, maybe some whites. Those are the colors I think of. So you do have some of those themes in here and you do, so you do have some of those themes in here, but they're not too much. That's why it's coming number five, but all the names in here are all about love and heartbeat and transparency. And so it has to be mentioned today as number five for my top five Valentine's Day inspired palette, because this is all about love. And that's exactly what Valentine's Day is all about. So here we have number five, the Natasha Denona love palette. Coming in at number four, we do have the Glam Light Hershey Kisses. This is the Lava Cake Palette. Now, again, another beautiful palette that's going to represent Valentine's Day for me. Because one, this actually did come out for Valentine's Day last year. Two, it's a Hershey Kisses. You know, they do beautiful like Valentine's Day themed chocolates. And this Valentine's Day is going to be a tongue twister for me because I keep messing up. But it just literally reminds me of, you know, Valentine's Day. And then when you open it up, you're going to have these beautiful 
pinky colors right here. Yes, there's some non-pink colors in here, but like literally this looks like Valentine's Day to me because of the bright pink colors and then the shape, the pinkness, the love, the lava cake, it being a Hershey Kisses. It's like chocolate and pink in one and it's a perfect like Valentine's Day palette. I love this palette. I think it's so freaking pretty. This is probably the prettiest shimmer in here. I'm obsessed with it so much. And it literally came out for Valentine's Day. So of course I had to mention it today. So coming at number four, we did the Glam Light Lava Cake Palette. Coming at number three, and this one could kind of go both ways, but coming at number three, we do have the Nomad Cosmetics Love and Death Palette. I just recently reviewed this on my channel. This is a Valentine's Day palette, but at the same time, it's like an anti-Valentine's Day palette because you have the love side and then you have the death side. So it's kind of a mix of both, but I'm gonna use it today for Valentine's Day because it obviously is kind of themed around love and death, which again, can be definitely symbolized Valentine's Day, but you're gonna have the love and death. You open it up, you're gonna see on the left-hand side, the love side, the right-hand side, the, the death side. They do have romantic themes to it. This is based upon, you know, Verona, Italy, like the romantic capital where Romeo and Juliet were at. So of course I had to rank it today in my top five of the Valentine's Day inspired palettes because truly it is beautiful. Definitely does represent Valentine's Day to me, but it also represents like anti-Valentine's Valentine's Day, just in case you're not a big fan of it, you kind of get a mix of both. So that is why coming in at number three, we do the Nomad Cosmetics Love and Death Palette. So coming in at number two, I, I'm kind of like cheating just a minute because there's not just one palette, but there's actually three palettes, but they're kind of encompassing as one in my personal opinion. This came out, I want to say in 2020 or 2019. I want maybe 2019. I don't know, but coming in number two, we do have the ColourPop Valentine's Day collection. Now this came out, like I said, years ago, and it came out with like their first heart blushes and highlighters and the whole galore. I bought the whole thing. And it's these five, and it's these three little mini five eyeshadow, it's these three little mini palettes right here. Now these are Valentine's Day palettes. ColourPop created them for Valentine's Day. So of course I have to show it off, but that's like what I mean by like cheating because like there's technically three. So the first one we have is Squawk, which is, S-M-A-K. I forgot what this represented. <laughs> Something about kissing, right? Squawk? Squawk? Smock? Sealed with a kiss. Oh, okay. It's, it's a squawk, not squawk. <laughs> it means sealed with a kiss. Ah, I feel like I'm getting so old. I don't know these acronyms. Okay, so here is the Sealed with the Kiss palette. This is my least favorite palette from this collection. It doesn't really look like Valentine's Day to me. I mean, you do have some of those red colors, but I don't know. This is my least favorite palette from this collection, but of course it has to be in here because it was a Valentine's Day palette and it is called Sealed with the Kiss. So you're gonna have three mattes and two beautiful shadows, two beautiful shimmers. Then we do have this one right here. This is called Melt For You. Oh, guys, look at how gorgeous this one is. You are going to have like those peachy pink colors right here. It's an absolutely gorgeous palette. I literally am so obsessed whenever ColourPop does mattes with shimmers in them or like, you know, glitter in them. I think they're so freaking pretty, but this is obviously melt for you. So this is definitely part of their Valentine's Day collection. So of course it has to be in the ringing today because it literally does scream Valentine's Day to me. I think it's a gorgeous palette, but the one that I literally am so obsessed with is this one right here. It's called 143, which just, I think means I love you. So this is 143 or the I Love You palette. I mean, I mean, is that not Valentine's Day? Is that like not Valentine's Day? You're gonna have those beautiful pinky tones in here and pink to me is Valentine's Day. Whenever I think of Valentine's, I think of pink and red and this just literally screams Valentine's Day to me. I Love You, 143, beautiful freaking palette. So this right here, they kind of dropped the ball on because it is a press glitter, but they did actually re recently reformulate their press glitters, so they're no longer like this, but it's still such a gorgeous palette. I love this little pinky shadow right here. It's a very beautiful, beautiful palette. So that's why like I had to rank them today like all together because they didn't just come out with one palette. They came out with three in this collection. So I just would have felt unfair just to talk about one and not all three. So that is why coming in at number two, we do have the ColourPop like Valentine's Day, like 2019, 2020 collection. Cause I don't know when it came out, but that is why it's coming in at number two. Okay guys, so coming at number one, I have actually have not reviewed this for you yet because it hasn't come in. It's actually coming in on the day that this video goes live. So <laughs> I, I'm being cheeky. I am pre-filming this video and uh, it's actually coming in the day that this video goes live. I think, I, I think this video is going live on Monday. 
I'm not entirely sure the double check with Heather. But anyway, this by the time this, this video goes live, that's when this collection is being delivered. So unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to review it for you just yet, but I have been playing with it because my amazing friend Teresa let me borrow the palette. But coming in at number one, we do have the ColourPop Flirty Talk Palette. Need I say more? Need I say more? This is literally the newest 2023 Valentine's Day collection from ColourPop. This is called Flirty Talk. And on the back, they have like all those little like be mine and whatnot. And it reminds like be mine and you know, just my type, talk to me, cuddle up. Like it reminds me so much of those little like sweetheart candies. But on the inside, you do have this beautiful, gorgeous array of pinks and a little bit of like, not necessarily red, but almost like a deep pink, almost, like almost like a deep pink, sort of like a magenta red sort of, but like not like a true red, but you are gonna have those beautiful tones in here that's definitely gonna represent Valentine's Day to me. Now I am actually wearing this on my eyes right now. I think it's a really beautiful palette. So sneak peek, spoiler alert, when I do review this, I already wanna be a little biased because I do like it, but I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. You do have those hearts everywhere. You just have everything that represents Valentine's Day, at least in my personal opinion. And I think the themes in here are so beautiful. I love this little pressed glitter shade. It's actually what I'm wearing in my eyes. And I mixed it with a shade called Cuddle Up. So freaking beautiful. Like when I think of Valentine's Day, this is going to be the palette that I think of. And this is the palette, the palette that I actually will be wearing on Valentine's Day because like <laughs> why not? I want to be cheeky. So this is my number one pick for the best Valentine's Day inspired palette because it's literally created for Valentine's Day. And I think ColourPop did such a wonderful job with that. So coming in number one is the best Valentine's Day inspired palette. We do Flirty Talk by ColourPop. Okay, so moving on to my top five anti-Valentine's Day inspired palettes. So I have five palettes sitting right in front of me and this one was a little bit harder for me because when I think of like anti-Valentine's Day, I'm okay, well, what's the opposite of like love? Obviously death would be the opposite of love in my personal opinion. Anything that represents death and darkness would be like anti-love for me. So like you would think of like blacks and deep tone colors, death, like anything like that is what I think of when it comes to anti-Valentine's Day. So I do have one honorable mention that I actually don't have to show it to you anymore because I did declutter this a while back. Coming in for our honorable mention, we do have the Prelude to Agony palette. This is by Rebel Rouge Lab. I no longer have this palette, but I actually reviewed this palette in 2020 it's been oh it's been a hot minute but i read it in 2020 and i talked to you guys all about valentine's day in that video and that palette is literally supposed to represent anti-valentine's day it's an anti-valentine's day inspired palette because the owner just wanted to do something that's against valentine's day it's a cute palette I mean, you do have some of those pinky tones in there but it's supposed to represent everything opposite of and a valentine's day so it's an agony it's a prelude to agony it's all about breakup and heartbreak and being alone and you know it's supposed to be kind of depressing but i mean they really did hit the mark on it so it's why i wanted to show it off today because i do think it'd be a really good like anti-valentine's day palette something a little bit opposite i just no longer have it to show you guys Guys, but I wanted to mention it as an honorable mention because like literally it's prelude to agony It's all about anti Valentine's Day and she was a cute palette. I just I no longer have it so Moving on to our top five anti Valentine's Day inspired palettes now coming in at number five This one may be just a little bit shocking and I'm gonna have to kind of explain it but the reason why I picked this palette is because it does kind of represent life and death and like i said for me when it comes to anti-valentine's day i think of death i think of everything opposite of love i think of grief i think of mourning i think of being single and hating love i think of everything opposite of bright pinky bold of bright pinky happy colors and i think of like dark deep freaking screw valentine's day colors you know what i mean so Coming in at number five, we do have the Hella palette. This is the Odin's Eye collaboration with Angelica Neekfis. She created this last year and this is supposed to be a life and death palette. So according to the description, Hella is the goddess of death in Norse mythology. She represents death and death also means new life. According to the legend, Hella's image is half beauty and half skeleton. We refer to the image of Angelica Nikvis and the design to create the cover elements. So that is why I picked this one for top five of my anti-Valentine's Day inspired palettes because you do have life and death being represented. So here is the color scheme. Again, this isn't necessarily like an an anti-color scheme for Valentine's Day because a lot of the green colors in here, but I also don't look at it and go, ah, 
that Valentine's Day. I look at it and just think it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. And it's supposed to be life and death. And it's supposed to represent new life. And it's supposed to represent death. It's kind of like a mix of both. So that's why I want to show it today as my top five anti-Valentine's Day palette. Because it does have that life and death element to it. And it just is an anti-Valentine's Day color scheme. And I don't know. I just think that this is so captivating. I love the fact that it, it represents death. But it also represents new life being born. And I can't tell you guys how many times that like people find themselves down and then they end up finding that spark of life and it keeps them going and I just think it's a beautiful representation of that. So coming at number five, we do have the Odin's Eye collaboration with Angelica Nikfis. This is the Hella palette. So coming in at number four, we do have the Dose of Colors. This is the Smoky Saray palette. Now, like I said earlier, when I think of anti-Valentine's Day, I think of dark, dark, deep, colors, colors representing like death and, and mourning and whatnot. So when I look at this palette, I can definitely see this right here. This is going to be a really dark tone, like really dark smoky tone palette. You are going to have those like those silvers, browns, blacks. This is a very smoky eyeshadow palette. I think it's a really gorgeous eyeshadow palette. This is something that I definitely would not wear like on Valentine's Day if I'm trying to do a Valentine's Day inspired look because you just have those deep tones in here. And I just look at it and I could definitely see it being like anti-Valentine's Day because you're just wearing black, you're mourning and you're like, screw love, you know what I mean so that's why coming at number four we do have the dose of colors this is the smoky saray palette because it just looks everything opposite of my collection that i showed for top five this is the complete opposite of it so Coming in at number three, I actually did declutter this palette, but then I definitely took a double take and I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep this palette. And I'm really glad I did because I actually wore it. I actually ended up wearing this palette on New Year's Eve, but it is the Natasha Denona. It's the um, mini X Exxon palette. I don't, I don't know how to say that. Exxon, Exxon. It's this palette right here. <laughs> Coming in at number three, we do this Natasha Denona palette. And again, to me, this is everything opposite of Valentine's Day. Obviously, I showed you guys the ColourPop palettes where they're so bright, pinky, so happy. This is everything opposite. Deep, dark, morning, like something that represents the opposite of like my eye look right here. So I look at it and I could definitely get inspired to do like an anti-Valentine's Day look. I look at it and go, I want to do like a gothic inspired look, a black eyeshadow look, something that just is like, Ugh, you know, like just be opposite. So I get really inspired on look at this to be like an anti-Valentine's Day palette. It's a gorgeous palette, by the way very gorgeous this silver shade oh so pretty but yeah I definitely look at it and I'm just like I can see everything that this represents that's and it's not Valentine's Day so coming in number three we do have the Natasha Denona mini Exxon palette coming in at number two we do have the Nomad Cosmetics this is the Haunted Europe palette now it may seem a little like, wait, what? Haunted for anti-Valentine's Day? Yes, and the reason being is that this is a, almost like a death palette. It's supposed to be like a spooky palette, a death palette. And when I look at it, like, look at that. Like, you can see like the dead skulls right there, which again is everything opposite of love. This is like kind of representing death, cemetery and whatnot. Even when they did like their advertisement, they did cemetery. So this is the color scheme right here. It is also very, very opposite, <laughs> like very opposite of Valentine's Day. And I don't really get like those deep morning bold colors, but I just look at it and I just see anti-Valentine's Day because to me, it's like a haunted cemetery Halloween palette. And obviously Halloween is completely opposite from Valentine's Day. Halloween is about celebrating death and spookiness and you know the the, the the thin fail line between the living and the dead and it's just so opposite of what valentine's day represents and so i had to put this in here because this was a palette that came out for halloween and it was you know their theming was all about the louisiana cemetery and i talked all about like you know really fun cool halloween of uh, louisiana spooky stories in that video but this is supposed to be like a death palette it's supposed to be like a haunted palette and so i had to put that in here because it's so opposite of love it's it's death, life ending, and spookiness, and just everything kind of opposite of what a Valentine's Day is. So that is why at number two, we do have the Nomad Cosmetics, the Haunted Europe palette. Coming at number one, when Heather mentioned this idea to me, I immediately thought of this palette to be anti-Valentine's Day because, because it literally is about death. Like this palette represents death. Now there's a beautiful side to it because it also represents life, but this particular palette does represent death. So coming in at number one, we do have the melt cosmetics day of the dead palette right here first off beautiful skull love little skull right here 
when you open the palette, the palette you have the Day of the Dead palette right here. So you are gonna have those deep colors right there. That's everything opposite of Valentine's Day. Like I said, deep colors, mournful colors, just everything that kind of represents death and life being over with, which is exactly what this, this palette represents. It does have a beautiful counterpart or it's like the life palette, but this is the Day of the Dead palette right here. And to me, when I think of Day of the Dead, I think of completely opposite from Valentine's Day. Obviously with the Nomad Cosmetics, you saw love and death. This right here is all about death and they're trying to make it in a beautiful way by the way love the palette love the collection but i just look at it and i can see everything anti-valentine's day i see death i see the end of something and i just can see the mournful deep colors and i just really love this palette and i just i look at it and i can see everything opposite from valentine's day so that's why i had to put it at number one for for anti-valentine's day because it literally is the day of the dead palette completely opposite of love it's death and i just think it's perfect for being number one for the anti-valentine's day palette so those are my top 10 valentine's day inspired and anti-valentine's day inspired palettes i am so curious to see like what heather picked for her stuff we did not share our picks with each other we wanted to see it in the video so i'm really curious to see what she picked i wonder if we picked the same things or do we just go the completely opposite route and pick something so opposite of each other i am so curious but i just want to take a moment to thank heather austin for collabing with me in today's video it was so fun she is so unbelievably sweet she makes amazing content she will give you guys content every single day multiple eye looks and videos she's so inspiring and if you guys want to go check her out please please do go subscribe to her channel her instagram her tiktok i will make sure i link everything down below go watch her video go say hi to her just go show her some love it really would mean a lot to me because she truly is such a sweet soul she's thriving here on youtube and i just seriously think she's gonna go so far and i'm just so happy that we're working together so yeah guys that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not read because i do post four to five videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channels r for the life where you guys get to see my cool wonderful adventures my amazing husband Corey. and as always the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful wonderful picked members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribe you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye hey guys what's up and <clears throat> hey guys <laughs> hey guys video i'm actually doing everything that's kind of like gag or anything that's kind of like gag or <laughs> <laughs> Moving into our top five Valentine's Day inspired palettes. Now coming in at number Valentine's. Uh, this is oh shit. It's twenty. It's actually the uh, twenty. Um. Okay. So.